So we are going to San Diego. Yes, I am taking my family to San Diego to celebrate my wife's birthday. This is actually going to be our third time out in California, which is kind of cool because the first time we went out there, we went to LA and had an amazing time. This was back in 2020. The second time we went, we actually went for a conference out in San Francisco and we bought our first daughter along. Anola again had an amazing time. And now we're going to San Diego, but not just my wife and I, but also Nola and Nash. So it's going to be an amazing trip looking forward to it. I am not going to bore y'all with the generic airport footage. So I'll just see y'all at the Airbnb. So we ended up finding the perfect Airbnb in Ocean Beach. It pretty much had everything that you would need as a family of four during your vacation. It's a two bedroom, two bath with a rooftop. So if you want the link, Make sure you comment down below. All right, that's enough of the Airbnb. We decided to pack up and head down the road just five minutes away to the spot called Dog Beach. Now, if you're a dog lover, you should definitely check out this spot. We decided to come during sunset and all you see was just people with their dogs out. You see people surfing. It was just a nice vibe. So if you're into dogs on a nice beach, check them out. For dinner, we decided to check this spot out to get some ramen. You ready to try some ramen? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, come on. <laughs> but now nah, we've been trying to find a good ramen spot for quite some time now. It's been kind of hit or miss where we're living at previously, so we're excited to check this spot out. There were tons of great items on the menu. Decided to get a sushi appetizer, and here came the ramen. I would say it was pretty good actually, not gonna lie. Ended up getting baby girl some buns and all in all it was around $67. So wasn't terrible, but I'm starting to see that San Diego is pretty expensive. So we found a spot called Benedict's for breakfast and it was delicious. Wifey got this loaded egg sandwich. It was just uh, amazing in that sauce. Woo. <laughs> but now that we're fed, it's time to have some fun. All right, so right now we're at SeaWorld, San Diego. 72 degrees outside, partly cloudy. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day today. One tip is to get to the parks early. They actually opened at 10 a.m. And we got there around 10, 15 or so. You can already see the line starting, but... Honestly, we got through the line very quickly and it was perfect. There was not a lot of people there. Also, we went in mid-September and the weather was just perfect. I mean, mid-70s, a nice breeze. You don't get any better than that. Uh, hey, y'all. So what's, what's your favorite part of SeaWorld so far? Definitely the dolphin so far. Yeah, got a lot more to go, but... We gotta check it out. So one of the cool things about SeaWorld is they have a bunch of rides for a toddler. So we definitely are about to take advantage of that. <laughs> Gonna be good vibes, good rides. Yeah. So one of the reasons we wanted to come out here to San Diego was the beaches. Right now we're in Mission Beach, which is a popular destination down here. Got to go check it out. Might get some drinks, get something to eat as well. Stay tuned. So one of the 
cool things about this B&B is that it actually came with its own beach equipment. So luckily for us, we don't have to rent any chairs because we already got them. can't go to San Diego without getting a California burrito. So we ended up finding Harry's Taco Club and they had a different mix of burritos available on the menu, but we both got the California burrito with carne asada and shrimp. What you think? Mm. Mm. Next up, La Jolla. So after getting breakfast, we decided to go over to Mount Soledad. It's a beautiful veteran memorial and it has the best 360 views of San Diego by far. Highly, highly recommend checking it out. Time for lunch. So El Pescador Fish Market in La Jolla was highly, highly recommended and we decided to check it out. Basically, there are tons of fresh fish options for you. You can get them seasoned how you want, cooked how you want, put it on bread, put it on a salad, whatever. It was super dope. Shout out to Wifey for creating the busy packs for the kids. Super, super clutch. But we ended up getting two fish sandwiches. I got the Cajun Snapper and Wifey got the Cajun Mahi. They were both great sandwiches. Highly, highly recommend. So one of the cool things about the neighborhood that we're staying in is it's super walkable. Beaches are just five minutes away. Tons of food out here. So we actually passed up this taco spot called City Tacos. Look pretty cool, has a nice open area. So I'm gonna go check it out. All in all, we really enjoyed our time here in San Diego. Traveling with kids can be tough sometimes, but I feel like San Diego was the perfect city to bring the kids along. Tons of beaches, tons of fun things to do. If you have any questions about the spots we went to, be sure to drop it down below in the comments. Come back next week because I'll be traveling to Las Vegas to present at a national conference and I'm super nervous.